We're on the Southern Oregon coast, just off Highway 101. In fact, just immediately <laughs> off of it, it's right there. And we're in the Thunder Rock Cove viewpoint area, which is in the Samuel H. Boardman State Scenic Corridor. And we're gonna take a hike down to Secret Beach. It's not really a huge secret because it is listed on the state parks map and it's pretty easy to GPS it, but there aren't any signs, so it could be easy to miss. Hopefully we won't miss it <laughs> as we go down. It's quintessentially Oregon in the late spring and early summer. Lots of dense greenery. Besides the sounds of the highway up there. It's just really peaceful. The birds chirping and everything. All right, here's our first sign. 30 minutes to the loop trail or 30 minutes to the beach. And we are headed to the beach. So we're going to go up this way. Thank you for the sign. <laughs> because if I were thinking about which way to go without a sign, I would assume that the lower one was going to the beach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So at first it looked like we were going to have to start bushwhacking, but now it's opened up to a fairly wide path. You've got to watch your step in here though. Lots of roots. This must be Route 101. Yeah. <laughs> There's another split in the trail here. It's a little bit hidden. Yeah, and it's saying beach and falls to the right. Not quite sure what that <laughs> said there. But apparently the beach is this way and on this side of it, it says loop trail. Again, that looks like it's going down to the beach because out that way, is the water over this way is the highway but we're gonna do what the post says <laughs> yeah. and head up here apparently to the beach the road ahead it twists and turns and the sun beats down and it burns but I keep keep on pushing through and every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Okay, we come to another split. But I think this is just one that goes over to some water. Yeah, it looks just like some kind of spillway down there. Back up to the trail. <laughs> Cause I get up and I may fall right back down, but you love lifts me back to solid ground. Yeah, I get up. There we have our glimpse of Secret Beach. A waterfall over here. Voila, secret beach. And you want to be here at low tide to really enjoy this place. As you can tell right over here, when it's high tide, you're not going to get through there easily. Higher the tide, the harder it gets. And we're about two hours before uh, complete low tide. 
and I think it's only at about two feet, so it's not a ultra low one by any means, but uh, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the fog kind of gives it a mysterious element. <laughs> yeah, like it's trying to keep a secret or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's kind of a scramble here that we got to go down to get down onto the beach. I guess since it's a little more difficult, it does limit how many people come down here, which may or may not be a good thing for all those good people that would like to see this. And there's the waterfall down at the bottom. Okay, so this part looks a little bit steep. Yeah, a bit of a challenge here. Yeah, um, you just don't want to slip, so be very, very slow and careful. Soon. Yes, I will. Looks like it might not be a bad idea to get over here in this kind of uh, little crack here and use that. And then you got kind of a rail to use here. So I'm gonna buzz over to the right real quick. And I could only do this in low tide. Now here's one of the little sandy coves. What do you think of this? Yeah, a little cave here. Yeah, I could see how you could get Locked in here when the tide rolls in, you'd have to scramble up over there, I guess. Yeah. You're not going to put your sandals on? I jumped across that. <laughs> I'm not going to make this. <laughs> Might be time to get your feet wet. Yep. <laughs> or just cross right here. Oh. That'll work. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, this one you might still be able to get through at high tide, depending on how high the tide is. But look over that way. Look at those. Yeah. So another beach and another waterfall up there. Setting up for lunch. Yep. That, that last part over there, we're going to have to wait for low, low tide to get through there. <laughs> it's not quite ready yet? Nope, not yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe it won't get low enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully. People are trudging through, but they're getting pretty wet. Yeah. Okay, in order to get through here, you definitely need a very low tide. And I really want to go over there to the beach area over there. But that's not going to happen without getting waist deep wet as the waves come up over there. Susan's got her sit pad, and I've got mine. <laughs> oh, that's a lot more comfortable that way. All right, well, it's about a half hour before the official low tide, and it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get through this 
today without getting more wet than we want to, right? Yeah, and you gotta have a real low, low tide to get over to the other beach over there. Yeah, you need a minus tide. And we probably want to come a little bit later in the summer where we don't mind getting wet because we definitely get wet. We'd love to get over there though. Oh well. It's just absolutely stunning down here though. One of the cool things you get to see here at Secret Beach is seals. Look at this seal over here. enjoyed our time at Secret Beach, but I think we're gonna head on back up the hill. Yeah, we'll pop back in when we get up there because it's a little bit precarious going up that hill. We made it back up to the top. It was easier than we thought. Yeah, it didn't take us as long as we anticipated. Comment and let us know what you think of Secret Beach. And please remember to share, subscribe, and click on that little notification bell. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Just a few tips if you're coming to Secret Beach. Make sure you carry the normal safety and hiking gear. Keep in mind that there are no restrooms here. And you'll want to check the tides to be sure you're here at low tide. You might want to bring some shoes that you don't mind getting wet. Or carry a towel so you can dry your feet before heading back up.